Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at Synthfest UK in Sheffield. I'm with Andrea Martelloni. Uh, Andrea Hi. is on the MIDI Innovations Awards stand here. He's demoing a thing you were calling the Hitar. Hitar. A Hitar, sorry. Because you hit yeah. it. <laughs> you know, that never even occurred to me. Okay. So, it's a guitar that you hit. So, yeah. what's MIDI got to do with it? MIDI, well, MIDI is basically the interface that allows me to control external synthesizers. So right. in, in this case, I'm controlling a, uh, you know, a, a drum sample pack, because the, the first thing that uh, comes to probably anyone's mind when they think, oh, I've got a percussive controller on a, on a guitar, well, I'm going to play drums with it. Uh, and it, it's quite a bit of fun. Uh, it's, um, the, I guess the principle behind it, uh, you know, leaving aside for, for one second like the virtuoso aspects of it and the percussive finger style, the start, you know, the side that basically inspired this, is the fact that you can have a backbeat that rather than coming, rather than it coming from your foot, you can actually integrate it with, uh, within your, within your hands, within, your, within the, you know, your, your, your playing style. And that means that you can go down like that, have a little bit of a head bob, have a little bit of a dance, and it kind of, you can sonify that and you start having a kick, you start having a grounding, you start having a back piece and then also you can have a, you can have a snare on top of that and uh, it just makes, uh, makes the, the, you know, the bands that the, the singer songwriters and, and the, the open mic goers have in their head as they're playing their songs sort of like come alive in a sense, all, all of a sudden that exists. It seems to me like you probably have to be a pretty decent guitarist to make the most of this then. I mean, it's got, a, uh, I found on basically today on the floor that it's got a little bit of a learning curve, but um, the, the, the bare bones of the gesture is actually you know, quite easy and broken down, people can get them. People, you know, uh, I had a single songwriter before, he put on a capo, like he played, uh, he played on it for about five minutes and then he got a decent backbeat out of it. And so it's, uh, I mean, it's, it, it's just a matter of how you move your body. That, that's the way I see it. Like, it's a, I think it's a lot easier than people think. And of course, everyone has their own individual guitar yeah. style. Can you adapt this for your personal way of playing the guitar? Uh, I'm, I'm working on, I, th I think it's actually quite adaptable. So at uh, I can, uh, the, the, the sensors at, at least cover uh, all the parts of the body, so you can play it here, you can play it here, you can play it here. So depending on your way of doing percussion, you know, the system is going to respond coherently, but also uh, there's, a, there's a physicality to it, because it, what it's basically listening to is whether you're hitting it with a soft part of your hand or you're hitting it with a hard part of your hand. So it, it will translate to any playing style that follows this sort of uh, general physical rule. So as long as you, as long as you you hit it, you know, with, with a soft part of your hand, it may be this, it may be this, it may be this. It's it's still going to sound like a kick if you hit if you hit it with a hard part of the hand. It's going to sound like a snare. So there's flexibility. Uh, there's a flexibility to it. And how much modification do you need to do to the guitar itself to make this work? So at the moment, it's uh, it, it's a, a set of five uh, piezo sensors, which are just like piezo discs that you can buy in any electronic shop, and they cost pennies. Uh, but uh, probably I can probably get away with a, with a, a fair few less. Uh, it's th this is th this is deep learning based. So the, the the process of deep learning means that you need to acquire a data set before, and the data set has been acquired with this amount of uh, this amount of sensors. But uh, I'm, I'm working on reducing it so that it's you know easier and easier to to modify a guitar to fit the, that technology. In. So the machine learning is essentially learning to discriminate between the types of hit that you're. It, doing. It's learning to describe more than learning to discriminate, and I, th I think this is what I was. Uh, this is one of the main goals with this with this uh, technology. Like rather than try and fit every event into either of two boxes, it's it's embracing the fact that some hits can be ambiguous and uh, it, it, it sends a mix of the two, it, like it, 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 
yeah, it's not hard discrimination, but it's sending a mix of the two. And it's also uh, describing the uniqueness of each hit, which I'm, I'm sending down as MIDI control signals. And I find it quite useful to, to for example, assign them to a uh, the position of a stick of a, of a, sna uh, of a snare drum. So rather than using like the, the humanizing control, which is usually just the randomizer, uh, you actually have a humanization that really listens to what you're doing and correlates to what you're doing as well. Amazing. So how far away is this from being a kind of commercial product? I mean, it. Uh, I'm going to say it depends. Like all, all it takes for, for me, I think, is that what's running on here needs to run in here. Uh, and I'm working on having it running on a single board computer and then I want this set of audio signals to rather be a one audio signal coming from the magnetic pickup and then a MIDI interface. So you think that rather than having a floor pedal or something like that? Uh, that can also be an option. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly also here to discover what people would, would prefer 360 degrees. So the interface, the uh, you know the way they want this presented, because of course you know I've, I've got my taste, which is usually like I want everything to be focused on the guitar as much as possible. But of course that isn't necessarily what, what other people want. Amazing one! Well, thanks for showing us this. Um, Thank you. Let's hear it in action. Yeah.